for big knowledge of people all night, but there's a few other people here in government that, that are such a big part of the healthcare system in our city uh, and do so many things. And one is my chief of health and human services, Felix Arroyo, is here. Somebody who Felix is, but I know he's here. My name is chief Arroyo. A friend and, and per, a person I served in the House of Representatives with for over 10 years, uh, State Representative Jeffrey Sanchez. I want to thank Representative Sanchez as well. <laughs> Jeffrey, thank you, Jeffrey. And a fairly new colleague of mine, when I got elected mayor, he got elected mayor, and we both have a, a great relationship from the from the great city of Lawrence. Mayor Dan Rivera is here. I want to thank Mayor Rivera. <laughs> And I want to, um, and also the Vice Mayor from Cambridge is here, Vice Mayor Benton is here, so I want to thank you Vice Mayor for being here as well, uh, from Cambridge. You know, tonight is, is, an, is an incredible night, and I was, I was reading up on the stats, which I'll talk about in a few minutes, but I want to start by saying thank you to the Latino Advisory Committee at Boston Children's Hospital uh, for your great work. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, we can clap for them. <laughs> Dr. Well-deserved, Dr. Rodriguez, well-deserved recognition. Uh, my family certainly understands uh, what the doctors at Children's Hospital does day in and day out, and I want to thank you, and it's well-deserved, because many, many people depend upon you, and you need to be recognized for your great work, so I want to thank you. And Christina, where's Christina? Christina, you're unbelievable. That was outstanding speaking up here. And, and the outfit she had on and everything, and no microphone, and I thought she was just unbelievable. So Christina, I need you to come into my office and help me out a little bit, all right? We got some things in common. Um, this organization that we're here to support tonight started six years ago, and it's already been very successful. $2.7 million has been raised to help patients and families in need of services. And they also help connect the Latino community to the world-class services and care at Boston Children's Hospital. These are families and children that come from all over the world who seek the very best care at Boston Children's Hospital. The money that, that you're raising tonight and you're donating tonight is going to help with transportation, food, clothing, housing, financial assistance for, tr for treatment, um, support for Spanish, Spanish and Portuguese speaking families, crucial for development, particularly the young people's development. Why do I know all this? Two reasons, one is because it's on the card. <laughs> but secondly, I lived it. Because in 1974, my mother and father took me to the Children's Hospital Emergency Room in November 74 because I was a film room. And the doctors there checked out and said that his blood counts are not right. And we feel a mass in the stomach and we have to see what that is. So we're gonna go in and do some exploratory surgery. And they did, they came back and they said, he has Burkitt's lymphoma. And the doctors offered my mother and father two options. They said one option is you can take him to see his grandparents in Ireland and take him to Disney World and, and do all that stuff. Well, you can try this experimental treatment that we're trying here chemotherapy, radiation, and some other drugs. And my parents said, well, we want to try that. And I spent a lot of nights in Children's Hospital. I was seven years old, so I don't really remember all that, but I know my parents do. And I know all the parents in this room that have sick kids. My parents know what you went through. And I found out years later what you went through. And when I was in that hospital, we'd be sitting, I'd be in a ward at the time. We didn't have what children's has today, mostly single occupancy, and we're gonna to work to make sure it's all single occupancy. does in the last six years, it wasn't around back then. So the communication was tough, and the adapting to the culture and the environment was tough, and I don't know this to be true, but that's why this organization show was formed, because of helping parents that needed help to be there to support. 
This hospital is the greatest hospital in the world. The doctor said it, number one in the world. There's no question about it. Yeah. It's number one. It's number one because of the administration. It's number one because of the nurses. It's number one because of the doctors. It's number one because of a lot of reasons. It's number one because of the families. It's number one because of organizations like this that raise money so parents and families can have opportunities to really understand what's going on. And Christina asked you tonight not to forget, don't forget to dig deep in your pocket. And as I look around the room, probably not everyone in this family, in this, in this audience, has been affected by childhood cancer in your family. You might have had older people that had cancer, and some, some were cured, and some weren't cured, and some people died, like many of my family members, and they were older. But when you talk about childhood cancer, you talk about a parent's struggle, because again, the kids a lot of times don't understand what's going on.